If you ever go prospecting, you might be lucky enough to get one of these. A nugget that size will save you from prospecting for quite some time. Trouble is, most of the time when you go, in your dish you end up with dust. Just little glittering specks, if you're lucky. And the trouble is, you don't really know whether it's the true thing or fool's gold. And to find out, there's a very simple test. We need to go to the kitchen to do it. That is, if the kitchen has a gas stove, because you want to heat this stuff pretty strongly. We'll get a small test tube and put some gold dust into that. It won't hurt it if it's the real thing, but you can only test it by heating it fairly strongly. There we are, a bit of gold dust down the bottom there. Then hold the test tube in a clothes peg, this stops you from burning your fingers, and place it into a gas flame, and you'll need to heat it very strongly. What uh, is happening here is that the gold metal doesn't really get affected by the heat, and if, it the real, if it's the real thing, you can reclaim it afterwards. But fool's gold is not a metal at all. It looks like one, but it isn't. It's a mixture of things like iron and sulphur. And so as it gets hot, the sulphur is driven off, and it forms this yellow precipitate, this yellow deposit on the walls of the test tube. So if you heat it and you get that sort of appearance, I'm afraid you've got fool's gold. But at least, using this test, you weren't fooled. I want to know.